Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. I designed my own Tesla coil circuit, then assembled it and while testing it failed a couple of times. Then I thought of buying the kit from an online store and then assemble it. Each and every time when I am testing my own circuit, the transistor is blowing off. Mostly this is because of the chalk or the coil. The kit is very cheaper and I will give the buying link in the description box. You can see the number of turns in this coil is very high. When I was making the number of turns of the coil was very less. I know this was the reason that my transistor was blowing off. That is why I bought this kit for in order to test or confirm that the problem is with the coil or choke. This is the transistor which is using in this circuit. The number is BD243C which is an NPN transistor. It has the maximum collector current of 6 ampere. Other than this transistor, let's see what are the things available in this kit. You can see a PCB which is very good and you can see a small transistor uh, heatsink for this transistor, a push to on switch and a DC jack. The working voltage of this circuit is 9 to 12 volt. Along with this you can see the Tesla coil uh, and a few more components which are uh, inside this plastic wrapper and I will, I will show you you can see it uh, two 10k resistor and a few LEDs two LEDs are there and you can see a neon lamp neon lamp is not for connecting to this circuit but when we are switching on the Tesla coil and we have, if you are moving or placing the neon lamp near to this coil this neon lamp will light or ionize uh, without any external power so in order to show that uh, they, they have given this neon lamp and also this heatsink is not that much good i prefer i recommend to use a very good heatsink for uh, to this transistor because this transistor will uh, heat heat up uh, uh, a bit high this transistor will be using very nice ampere so very good heatsink is uh, required but uh, for testing i will be using the same heatsink you can see it's, um, uh, how we can fix this heatsink in the pcb they have given the uh, proper spacing for it for that if you are planning to use this for a long period then definitely you have to change this heatsink to a pretty good one and also they have provided some screw for fixing the transistor in the uh, heatsink also they have provided the m2 screw connectors which we can uh, fix this to the pcb and use with the help of that m2 screw connectors we can place this in, on top of a metal surface so that the so the the soldering part will not be short circuit with the uh, metal part the capacitor they have provided is one mft which is a ceramic type because why this is because uh, the this circuit is using rc as the oscillator I will tell you how the components can be fixed into this PCB. This is the transistor that is BD243 and this is the place where we are fixing the Tesla coil and this is the place where we are connecting the uh, DC socket. This is the capacitor on MFT and this is the switch and this is the 10 kilo ohm resistor and uh, one LED we can f f connect on, on the center of the uh, coil and before kind of fixing the transistor you must apply some heatsink paste or thermal paste in between the transistor and the heatsink for uh, for a very good heat dissipation also they have given an additional 10k resistor led and capacitor along with this kit if anyone want this circuit please comment on this video so that i will draw the circuit and will upload in the into the google drive and will share the link in the comment box and will pin it so that the, this uh, this my comment will be or the this uh, li link google drive link will be the first comment uh, in this video the first thing we have to fix in the pcb is the transistor transistor we have to insert it totally down so that uh, the, uh, mostly when i am fixing the transistor i will be uh, placing it in the air but here uh, they are pr they have provided uh, two terminals in the heatsink so that the uh, heatsink can be fixed in the uh, in the pcb but i am not soldering that part because uh, if the transistor is blowing off i have to replace the transistor very easily that is why i am not soldering the heatsink terminals into the pcb CB. instead of that uh, i am only soldering the uh, sold uh, the heat uh, sorry tra transistor terminals to the pcb 
after proper soldering of the transistor you have to cut the uh, extra terminals which are projected outside the uh, pcb uh, you can make use of a, a nipper or a cutter the best the best tool we can use is the nail cutter the nail cutter is the very best one we in the early in my early stages i was using the nail cutter which will also cut this thing very perfectly i will assemble the rest of the components and will come back I have assembled the all the components but the thing is we have to fix this uh, Tesla coil in this PCB otherwise the coil will break uh, it will be a problem so in order to fix uh, fix this test uh, coil to that PCB what I am planning to do is to make use of a rubber based gum which is uh, Febby bond this one uh, the thing is uh, it will take a pretty uh, two or three hours to cure cure completely so that is that is actually a time consuming on instead of that what I am planning is not to use fave bond inst uh, instead of that i will be using the glue gun glue stick will will be taking uh, less time to uh, cure cure is not the right weight dry is the right weight I will tell you a bit more about this uh, coil or Tesla coil. This coil is not having any primary or secondary winding. It has only one winding, and one end of the coil is connected to the um, uh, connected to the uh, PCB, and the other end we are uh, not uh, soldering anywhere. It just uh, okay, we are at leaving it as uh, as it is. And this coil is making use of 28 to 34 gauge uh, sta standard wire gauge of coil and it has a winding of um, number of turns of more than 800 uh, turns. Uh, if you are using less number of turns what will happen is uh, uh, the transistor will be blowing off. So th you have to, uh, to use uh, at least 800 turns of windings in uh, for this coil. The circuit is making use of only four components, one transistor, one resistor that is 10K, one, one MFT capacitor that is ceramic and this chalk or Tesla coil. I have fixed the Tesla coil into the uh, PCB using the glue stick. It was pretty good and uh, it will not uh, e even uh, move a bit uh, because I have fixed it properly. We have to connect the M2 connectors to the PCB that also I will be doing it. The LED which is a blue color LED is fixed at the center of the coil so that uh, when we are switching on at, at night time it will be looking pretty pretty nice. I will fix the M2 connectors while fixing the M2 connectors uh, one in one place uh, the PCB has broken so I cannot fix it uh, we don't need that one only three is enough so that the, you can see the, how it is having pretty good height so that the if you are fixing it in, uh, in on top of a, a metal platform the soldering part will not touch that uh, metal platform and and it will not create any problem or any short circuit that much height it has. This is using the same technique of uh, uh, computer PCB, motherboard. Motherboard is also we are fixing in the same technique, using the same technique. If you want to clean the PCB, that is the soldering part, you can make use of thinner or kerosene. So that uh, just uh, using a cotton, uh, you can rub it or using a, a brush that is toothbrush, you can rub it using a kerosene or thinner so that uh, this uh, PCB will be looking very good and the circuit, the, uh, the power supply we are using is this 9 volt battery this I have made, this is a rechargeable battery that I made from the <laughs> similar uh, similar one this uh, the, the video link for making this one will also I will be providing in the description box uh, you know, those who haven't watched this thing you can watch it from there uh, this is a very good one because uh, this uh, uh, this 9 volt rechargeable battery is having very good ampere uh, which will work per perf perfectly fine uh, in this circuit. When I was assembling this uh, rechargeable battery, I do not have a small size uh, ba lithium-ion battery. In the, that is why this uh, in this here the battery is fixed outside the battery. <laughs> And it is time for testing this circuit. I have connected the battery and will move the battery to a bit further from the circuit. That is because this uh, rechargeable battery is making use of a booster circuit which contains an inductor and all. Uh, I don't know whether this Tesla coil that uh, the, the, the uh, high voltage which is generated from this Tesla coil will create any problem to that circuit. That is why I, can, I will be placing it a bit further side. And you can see the blue LED which is connected at the center of the coil. 
I will switch on the circuit um, using the power switch which is provided in the circuit. Uh, it is having some issues with the circuit. Um, it is uh, I have to press multiple times to switch it on. Okay, now it is on, and uh, you can see the neon lamp, uh, lamp light is lighting. Uh, it's it's actually ionizing. It's not lighting. It is what we call as ionizing because the high voltage generated it has uh, some energy. Using that energy, this neon lamp neon uh, light uh, that is actually uh, that actually lighting up you can see the brightness is a, a bit less because my studio is having very good brightness i will switch off the light in the studio and will test it once again i will switch it on the circuit once again and uh, you can some there is some issues with the switch i'm not i'm sure about that okay anyway it is switched on now uh, now we can test the neon lamp for its uh, uh, brightness or you can uh, you may watch it how much brightness uh, that neon lamp is lighting Let us check the temperature at the transistor. The transistor is uh, heating uh, pretty high. I what I said earlier, you have to use a very good heat sink. This is uh, this is for testing. This is fine. Uh, you can see when I am bringing my fingers near to the Tesla coil, the LED is blinking and is switching off. That is because all the energies or uh, the high voltage which is generated by the coil is absorbing by my hand or my fingers that is why it is actually acting as a short circuit if we are holding it for a long time the transistor will blow off
like this video then please click like button and also share this to your friends if you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video please comment on this video please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care